Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to organize assets in your scenes and in your project, and also how to create prefabs uh, in Unity. So um, as an example, I've got this scene here in my game, and I've added over here uh, three short ladders together. So we've got one ladder, two ladders, three ladders here. So if I click on one, just to move it across, you can see they're actually three separate ladders. But uh, I want to reuse all of these three ladders attached together like this again in other parts of my scene. So um, for example, over here, I might want to add another tall ladder there to get to another platform in the future. And I don't want to have to drag on three more individual ladders and then join them up together perfectly. So what I want to do is basically be able to reuse these three ladders that are already put together and um, just be able to reuse them as they are anywhere else in my scene. So if I click over here, you can see I've got uh, ladder 01, ladder 011, because I duplicated it, and then another one here, duplicated. So what I'm going to do, firstly, is these three assets here in the hierarchy, I'm going to just organize them together. So I can hold down either Command or um, the Control key, I think, if you're using Windows. So on Mac, it's Command. I can hold down Command and I can select these individually or I could just click on one and hold down shift and then select the top one here and it will select all three. So I want to select all three ladders here and I'm going to right click on here and I'm going to go down to click on create empty parent. And what that will do is it will create an empty object, but then it will make all of these, these three ladders here um, attached to or belong to that empty object. All right, so I'll click create empty object and you can see now here it says game object and then it's got these three ladders uh, underneath it. If I hide game object, they hide as well. So I'm gonna rename this game object, just click on it and, or you can right click and then click rename. I'm gonna call this uh, long ladder, all right? And um, then I can actually hide all those three layer, ladders under there and now they just belong to that, that group. So. That's how you can create an object, and it's just an empty object. If I click on long ladder, you can see it just has um, posi position, rotation, and scale, um, but it's actually a parent of these three objects here. All right. Now, what I can actually do to make this reusable is I can click and drag it down to the assets panel here, and that will turn it into what's called a prefab. And a prefab is basically just a reusable uh, object in your game. All right, so it can be an object that contains a bunch of different assets and those assets um, can have different properties that are already set. So for example, you could create an object that has a physics material attached to it and might even have a script attached to it with some code controlling how it behaves or, or what it does. And all of those different things attached to that object can be um, turn into one reusable object. So when you reuse that object in your scene many times, it has those um, things attached to it still. All right, so um, before I make this a prefab, what I might actually do is go down here and right click and create a new folder called prefabs, just to keep this nice and organized. And I might also create another folder while I'm at it called physics materials. just to put that physics material from the last tutorial into there, just to keep this organized. Now I'm gonna go into the prefabs folder and I'm gonna drag, click and drag this long ladder down to here and let go. And you'll notice that it turns blue. So that means, when it turns blue, it means that this is now a prefab, all right? And now it's just as easy as dragging that prefab in wherever you want it. All right, so I don't need to, I don't need to drag three or duplicate three individual ladders and then position them on top of each other to make a long ladder anymore because I've got a reusable long ladder that I can just click and drag into my scene as I like. All right, I'll give you one more example here. Um, I've made this platform here and it's, um, it's actually got, so I've got platform one 
and there's grass above the platform and then there's also this kind of like mossy grass coming down from the platform so there's one two three separate objects there but i might um, want to reuse that again i might, might want to just quickly add another grassy platform to my scene again so what i'll do is highlight all of those again right click and I don't need to at, um, attach these to an, a parent object, but just to keep them organized, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to uh, rename this to grassy platform or grassy short platform because I've also got long platforms. All right. Now, when I select that grouped object, I mentioned before, it's just only got because it's an empty object, but it's containing some other objects. It's a. Uh, it's only got these properties, position, rotation, and scale. So if I select any of these individual objects here, I can move them independently. So I can move that, that grass across, uh, or I can select a platform and I could move that as well, or, or change whatever I wanted about that, that platform. But, um, oops. but when I move the object that these are all parented to, so the parent object that these are all under in the hierarchy, when I move that, uh, actually moving all of those three objects below it. Okay, so that's how parenting works. Or that's how the hierarchy works in uh, Unity. When you select a parent object in the hierarchy and move it or rotate it or resize it, um, it's going to apply to all of the child objects below it. Okay, so again, if I rotate uh, or if I was to resize, it's going to, to do it to all of those objects, not just individual ones, okay? If you still want to edit individual ones, you can click on them and do that. Now what I'm going to do is drag this down to here. And so I've got another prefab that I can reuse. So I can click and drag that into my scene. And there we go. We've got another grassy short platform again, uh, just like that. Very quick and, and very easy to add that to my scene. All right, uh, so that's how you can create prefabs. And remember, prefabs can contain uh, other um, different properties that have been set and, and be reused. So for example, this player here, the astronaut, if I wanted to make a second astronaut uh, in this game and I wanted it to also have the bouncy physics material, then I can just turn that into a prefab. And then it means uh, instead of having to drag in another player and then attach a physics material to it, I can just drag in the prefab and it's already going to have a, a physics material attached to it. Okay, uh, so it's good to, to keep things organized as well. Um, when there's objects that you're going to be reusing a lot and they've got different things attached to them, it's good to turn them into prefabs. It's good to keep things organized in folders. And it's also good to keep things organized in your hierarchy um, list as well. So rename objects um, to try and make them be easier to find. Uh, you can group them together or, or um, parent objects. So attach them to an empty parent so that you can hide and reveal things. Um, and you can also easily duplicate objects as well from, from this menu too. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.